Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 42. And a big shout-out to all you Douglas Adams fans out there. Uh, 42 is a, a very important day, but don't panic. We still have more Tips of the Day to come. As always, thanks for subscribing, for uh, watching my videos, and for all the great feedback. It is appreciated. Now, today's tip of the day is a very short one because I got home very late. I'm really tired, and uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to put this together for you today. I have some more complicated ones uh, in store for you, but for today, this is a very simple one. For those of you who aren't familiar with some of this stuff, uh, you will find this extremely useful. A lot of folks will already know about this, but this is something I didn't know about until I'd been using Source Filmmaker for weeks, maybe a month or more, and that is using the shift and control modifiers to change how camera motion works. Now to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I'm just going to take the work camera here because this applies to any camera or anything you can move in the viewport, including lights. Uh, so if I'm going to show you, let's say if I just move forward, this is what it looks like to move forward. You know, a decent pace, you know, whatever. Uh, and if I press the shift key though and then, and then move, I go flying. It's very, very fast. So shift can be used to move around very quickly and cover distances very rapidly if you need to move to another area of the map, or you need to uh, to make to cover some some ground with an object very very uh, quickly, the shift key is your friend. And now let me show you what it looks like to use the control key. If I press control and move, you can see that now I'm moving very slowly. And this is useful for for when you want to adjust the position of a camera and uh, move it in such a way that you're not going to accidentally overshoot something or something like that. It's also a good way for puppeteering. Controlling the camera, puppeteering is a lot easier when you're using control because you move at a speed that is actually more effective. And really for for the purposes of Source Filmmaker, the control modifier is really going to be your savior for puppeteering. So when you're recording something and you want to puppeteer the camera motion, well, it's pretty easy to do with control because you have so much more um, control <laughs> over um, the way things move than you do with uh, just normal motion, which is you know can be a little jerky if you were trying to, for example, follow something or something like that. Uh, so there is a, a useful trick is the control and the shift modifiers. Shift moves you very quickly. Control moves you more slowly. Uh, and they are both useful for puppeteering and for moving around and positioning cameras uh, in such a way that you don't accidentally overshoot or place things in the wrong place. So that is your tip of the day, number 42. I am your host, Jimmer Linz. I hope you are having a great day. I hope you enjoy your weekend, and I will see you on Monday with another tip of the day. Until then, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.